Hello everyone, this is Aroka. Thanks for joining me. So today's video is going to be about Red Dead Redemption 2 on the current patch and how to get Micah's revolver while not in a mission uh, while you're in Chapter 3 and without any modifications. Now, I can't take credit for coming up with this idea. I found a video on a guy's channel named Micah T. He's got a video that showed how he did it, but it didn't explain the details of it, which took me a while to figure out. So I made this video to help explain it a little bit better. To complete this first section in preparation, you're going to need animal fat, flight feathers, and arrows. Just north of Clemens Point, there's a pretty good area where ducks will spawn. Ducks actually contain flight feathers and animal fat. If you didn't know that, so you can get them both in one shot. Pretty much these birds exist anywhere where there's water, rivers, lakes, so on and so forth. You can find them, uh, take them out, and once you locate their bodies and you skin them, you'll find the animal fat and flight feathers that you're going to need. Once you're done collecting those items, you're going to head back down south to Clemens Point, where we're going to kill Micah. I want to give you some geographical reference points for the camp. So these two hitching posts here, and then just to the left of them is this tree. This is where all of the actions you're going to perform to kill Micah are going to take place. So those two hitching posts and this tree right here. The tent in the background is where Micah is going to be sitting and where you'll be shooting fire arrows. On the side of the tree that I'm standing, you'll have access to your weapons wheel. So if you access R, or whatever keyboard command you have, you'll be able to get to your weapons wheel and be able to draw your bow. If you try to move closer to the camp, you will be lose your weapon at some point, and I'll demonstrate that here in just a second. So to show you what we're doing, if I aim at the tree, the arrow will let me fire it, but if I move my reticle off of it, it will automatically make me put the weapon down. So we're using this to our advantage here in a couple of minutes, and I'll, I'll show you how we're going to do that. And here's where if I walk towards the camp, you'll see if I get too close, which would make things easy, it's going to make me holster the bow and I lose it. But And I don't even have access to my weapons on this side of the tree, so that's the very border. This is the tented area that I showed you earlier, and this is the table that Michael will sit at. He'll either sit where this guy is currently sitting or in that chair that's empty on the other end. Once Mike is in position and you're ready to kill him, there's a couple of prep things we need to do first. First off, you need to take your bow and aim all of your arrows into the trunk of the tree, technically or close to being in the same spot. You're doing this because the cap on the amount of arrows you're allowed to carry, for flame arrows anyway, is eight, and we need more than eight to kill him. So what we're doing is we're sort of building ourselves a makeshift quiver and putting eight of these arrows into the tree and then we're going to quickly run over to this other side of the camp here and craft them. Now, this is something that you're going to have to do as Micah is sitting at the table. Because to get him to spawn, I had to sleep for a little bit. I sometimes had to reload. Because other, there's about six or seven different other spawn points in the camp. And we need him at that Domino's table is essentially what it is. So I tried firing them into the tree and then sleeping and hopefully they were still there and no they were not so you only can do this when Mike is where you need him to be and you're gonna fire those eight arrows into the tree go craft eight more and come back to the tree and then we're gonna start taking out Micah now in the video footage that you just saw Micah was actually in position but something didn't look right before I started shooting and when I took out my binoculars to look he had moved so don't be surprised if that happens either. Sometimes it seems like he sits there for other, other times he goes quickly. Once Micah is where you need him to be, uh, go ahead and equip your bow. Uh, that'll be an annoying thing too because if you have to save and reload, it sometimes goes back to the horse. Um, and then most importantly, you need to switch to first person view. If you don't do this, this will not work. So you're gonna line yourself up with the edge of the tree so that the reticle just clears the side of it. Make sure you put the correct arrow in. You'll notice I had the wrong ones there on that particular run. Switch over to fire, and then move the reticle over and start laying him into that tented area where he's sitting at the dominoes table. So the idea here is that you're going to shoot and then kind of move into your little quiver in the tree and pick up more arrows, so you'll technically get 16 shots out of this, which is what I found it takes. The video on Micah T's channel only showed 12, but for me it was taking consistently 16. Uh, sometimes one or two less, but mostly 16. Probably because of my bad aim. Anyway, what you're listening for here is screams. I'll let you hear that so you know that you did it right.
when you hear the screams, you can stop shooting and run over to him. You'll have to slow down because there's no running in the camp for whatever reason. Anyway, you're going to find Micah fully engulfed in flames, writhing on the ground, screaming some more. You're just going to wait for him to despawn or disintegrate. Now, because I've already picked this gun up when I filmed this, uh, it's not flashing on the ground, but I'm going to activate Eagle Eye here for you in a minute, Mr. and you'll see it flashing on the ground. I cannot pick it up because I already have it. You can only have one without a mod, but it is definitely on the ground, and you'll see that. There it is. If you didn't have it already, you would get an option to pick it up like I did. Um, so you can grab it. I was doing this on a second run in hopes that it would allow me to dual wield them, but clearly you can't do that. And it looks like the only way to do it is with a mod, so I'm just happy to get the one. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Um, anybody that's interested in getting it, enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.